Good kitten internet. Um, I have finally adjusted my audio volumes a bit. Uh, for reference, I've increased microphone by about three decibels and dropped my desktop audio down by about is that nine or ten decibels. Um, hopefully this sounds much better. It did for me during my brief testing, and I don't see a reason why this would sound any different for you all than it did for me. Uh, so now you can hear the music. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and continue and let us explore Beto. So I am specifically wanting to hit certain points of Beto. Monsters like the Kraken and Taros are much bigger. So I should probably mention these two monsters at this point. So the Kraken battle, the Taros battle, and what was affectionately referred to as the chessboard battle are generally the three hardest battles in the game of Shining Force 2. Um, for multiple runs that I've played Shining Force 2, where I've had a run where my objective was to not lose anybody at all. Not as in a Nuzlocke, but as in a zero death run. And I succeeded with a very large amount of planning in Chessboard. Um, chessboard is probably the hardest battle in the game that most Shining Force 2 players, would, I have already talked to you, uh, most Shining Force 2 players would agree that Chessboard's the hardest. But in this run's case, Kraken is probably going to be the hardest. Um, and the reason being, well, be a little more obvious once I'm... Which one call it? Um, once I'm actually in the battle, it's fairly obvious why Kraken is so difficult. Right. You have a knife and an iron arrow. Alright. This is going to be our upgrade time. A plus five attack on all of my archers. Yes, please. Alright. Yes. Because oh. then I need to go remove an item from his inventory. Same with Slade. May I can at least equip. Let's go ahead and sell. Do, 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 do. So, how are you? Um, I'm actually not feeling all that great right now. Um, I'm on after hour support for my company this week, and I have atrocious luck, as I've mentioned many times, on, even in this particular video series, and I end up getting a lot of calls at 3 in the morning. It's currently um, 2019, so um, I've been up for a while. I've taken some naps for reference, I'm not just doing this after a very long day. So hopefully I'm not going to die as a result. Right. I think that's the last item, yeah. Because bronze rods, everybody already has bronze rods, right? Yeah. Let's, I don't need to repair anything. Let's sell that dagger, and that should be it. Um, oh, what was I saying? So, I'm very tired at the moment. Uh, I have taken naps. It's not like this is me just staying up that late. And I'm making sure that I do have headphones on so I can hear my phone ringing in the event that I get a yet another call. Uh, let's see, do I need it to replace any healing seeds or anything? Yeah, Jaha can definitely use... I'll actually give him a healing drop for the second one. Because I am starting to get characters that have more than 20 hit points. In fact, everybody has more than 20 hit points, but you know what I mean. Um, everybody's got a healing seed, so that should be fine. So we are going to go say hi to Vulcanon. Don't drink and fly! 
Creed is the last greater devil to survive the war. But he retired from the army and now lives alone in Devil's Tale. Oh, Creed. So basically, this is where the game's plot starts showing up more, is that there's obviously something weird going on, because devils hadn't attacked in many years, and all of a sudden... It's not this one. Um, all of a sudden, holy crap, devils decided to go attack a deity straight up. So obviously there's weird things going on. And that's part of the reason why I'm here. I specialize in weird things. Oh, Poor chick lost their father. See my dad? Mom won't tell me anything about him. My spouse was killed in the war. Yes, son Kitty? Sun's the one out and about tonight. Devils? I thought they were only an old legend. I never let my hatchling go out. Yeah, because that sounds like a good idea. I mean, if they never go outside, then they'll never learn things. Yep. Lots of hot water. And I found the quick rain. Okay. Quick raining increases agility. So that allows turn order changes. But more importantly, allows you to dodge a little bit more easily. Alright, so... There's two schools of thought when it comes to Quick Ring. Either one, give this to somebody who's already really fast, so they're even faster. That would be Bowie in this case. Or you can give it to somebody who's really slow to make sure their init doesn't suck. That would be Kazin in this case. Um... Technically it'd be Peter, but... Uh, actually, giving it to Peter is not that bad of an idea. Oh, hold on a moment. No! Cats. Cats were eating my cheddar cheese wrapper. Okay, um, I am giving this to Peter because Peter's about to join our party permanently. And I'm gonna need to level him up a lot. I'm bored, I wanna go out. How wonderful it would be to fly on such a beautiful day. We have a lot of weapons, but I don't wanna use any of them. I wouldn't want to either. Weapons are mean. I want to say that there's more secrets here. I mean, I know of one particular secret that I haven't triggered yet, but I want to say that there's more secrets than this. Kneel before King Beto. Just kidding! Hey, look, there's somebody in a different sprite over there in the middle of the army. Huh. Wonder if they have a name in all caps. But God Vulcanon swept away all the devils. What about the greater devil? He fled. Can't you track him? We must capture him before he regains his strength. They come from Grand's Island? I think so. Maybe he died, but beware of another attack. Yep, because, you know, RPG trope. Never assume that somebody's dead if you can't find their body. Watch carefully. Scatter, 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 scatter. Ooh, am I running at lower frame rate or something? No. Decorate your nest. Wings and feathers. Oh. Darn it. Peter! Peter! Hey, look, this guy has a portrait, too. I bet he's important. Luke! Oh, Luke. So, Luke is normally the, um, bird brain, uh, the bird warrior. Um, I wonder what he's going to be like in this party. I won't get him quite yet. I think I have another battle afterward. Go on! It's your turn to talk! This is Bowie! He's from Granson. I know. He's a people of Astral of Grand Seal. Peter's entire trip was actually completely worthless because Luke talked to Sir Astral already. Yep. 
I heard that somebody unsealed Xeon. Grand's people have caused a big, big problem. Xeon might destroy the world. Grand's rough, but is he that strong? Xeon is king of the devils. Peter, you had better go see Vulcanon. It may calm him down to see Peter. Oh, is he angry? Uh, uh, well, uh, maybe later. Never mind later, he has been waiting for you. Oh yeah, uh, okay, I'm going. Peter at this age is kind of, um... How to put it, uh... Unconfident? Of course, why not? He thinks the people of Grand Seal are, um... Yeah... But we should talk. So, there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes here, and I don't particularly want to spoil. But I'm also walking in a different direction because I can. I think I actually have to do this on my way back from talking with Falconon. If God Falconon doesn't calm down, um... Is it? Nope. Okay, there's nothing back there. I want to say there's a piece of mithril in here somewhere. I just don't remember where. So this is the Temple of the Vulcanon. It looks a lot like the Ancient Seal, don't you think? And there's three of them total in the game like this. There's um, Vulcanon's Temple, Mithula's Temple, and the Ancient Seal area. Devils? They can't enter the shrine. Because Lord, Lord Vulcanon protects you. Uh, so the deities of this world are basically Vulcanon, Mithula, I think that might actually be the only two deities of this world. It's, they never actually go in depth on this in Shining Force 2. They don't mention it in Shining Force 1 either, and I haven't played enough of the guiding games to know if they're mentioned or not. Uh, let's see. Do you know the Legend of the Phoenix? No, why don't you tell me? A phoenix is a legendary bird who can't be killed. It is life itself. When his first life is nearly over, he bursts into holy fire to finish it. The fire creates another life for the phoenix on the ground. See, I don't know if that's a mistranslation. It's the phoenix on the ground. Where's the phoenix on the ground? And Peter was born from holy fire. Vulcanon is the highest of the gods that can revive anything. Phoenix serve and work for him. They help the people. Peter's also the only phoenix in the game. For reference. Not, I don't even mean playable character. I mean, you do not see any other phoenixes in the game. And I think it's technically possible to promote Peter before you talk to Vulcanon, but not really. So, God Vulcanon, I'm back! That is Vulcanon, or statue thereof. Welcome back, Peter. You look well. Yes, I am. This trip was very interesting. That's good. What made it interesting? I met a lot of people that live on the ground. They help each other. I made some friends. See, I keep picturing Peter unpromoted like Big Bird. I don't know why, I just do. Wonderful. It must have been a good experience for you. I've brought a friend. This is Bowie. He's from Grand Seal. Rage! Grand Seal! People of Grand's Island cause a serious, deadly problem for the world. Rrrr, rage! Uh, um, uh, Vulcanon? They awaken Zeon, the legendary devil! I've been protecting all the ground-dwelling people. I can't forgive them for this. Rrrr, rage! Vulcanon, please calm down! Bowie is not the person who did it! Actually, it kind of is. Everybody who lives on the ground is responsible. They have to solve this problem by themselves. What should Bowie do? My protection ceases now! He must face the devils on his own. Rage! But, but, even the greater devils are as strong as you! All the humans are annihilated, that's okay. It's their destiny. Vulcanon's a dick. Rage! I want them to show me courage. They must reseal the devil again. Also, I love how they mention all the humans. 
I don't know if you've noticed, Bowie's the only human in the party so far. There's one, uh, there are two other human, no, three other, I don't remember if Lemon's technically human or not. Three or four humans in the game, total. But most of the game have elves and centaurs and lots of other ground people. Bowie, believe in the power of the jewel. It belongs to both the light and the darkness. It shows its true power when the light and darkness are as one. You may go now. I do not want, sh wish to, want to see anybody until Xeon's defeated. Volcanon! Yep, now Volcanon shuts up for the entire rest of the game. This plot is a little weird. Um, there's more to it than what's being led on. You get to know a little bit more about it when you get to Machula's Shrine, and then much more about it at the end of the game, but... It's kind of like they meant to have one plot here, and then kind of forgot about it for a while. Shining Force games aren't meant for the plot, though, so, um... Yes, Sohn, I know. You need to show your butt off for the camera, I understand. I didn't know he was such a cold-hearted god. Okay, I'll help you. I'll go with you to reseal the devil. And Peter the Dart has joined the force. God damn it, Rack. <laughs> it's supposed to be Phoenix. Phoenix, for reference, is the unpromoted version of Phoenix. Um, the promoted version looks like what May looks like, which is... Um, well, I can only show in battle, but they look much more awesome. Yep. Yes, I already know. Alright, and that's it for Volcanon Shrine. Completely serious, there's nothing else in the shrine itself. There's still something in Beto, though, and... Volcanon was very angry, wasn't he? We can no longer depend on him. We must do it ourselves! See, the birds of Beto are a lot nicer than Volcanon, which is an interesting subversion. Um, interesting subversion of things. Yeah, so Tristan's the other bird city in the game, and that's later. Or, that's the city that, um, it's not bird city, it's the city of Metula Shrine. God, Vulcan has forsaken the people of the Earth. Are you going to kill Xeon as he demanded? Eh, no. You'll be safe here. Just stay here forever. See, I would love, like, a game over sequence at this point just for saying that, but no, it's a bust, but thou must. You're a man of honor. Why don't you go see Creed? He's an X greater devil. He may give you some information. So, believe it or not, my quest objective at this point of the game is to go talk to a devil. Creed's actually pretty cool. I like Creed. I just don't like getting there. You must travel along the river to get to Creed's mansion. Maybe Polka has a rack for you. Tell the mayor to prepare a raft. Pip, pip. Yes, sir! And Luke goes flying off. Peter, please help Bowie. Bowie, good luck! Yep, so Goddess Machula is on the north side of Tristan. Something's happened in North Paramecia. They keep that in mind. Oh, this is what I'm looking for. I had a dream last night. I flew! Watch, I can fly! Boop, 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 boop. Hmm, strange. That didn't work. Hee <laughs> hee. Sorry, stay there. I know I can fly. Boop, 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 yeah. Boop, flying, yay, flying. See, I told you, I can fly, sort of. Okay, so yeah, the outside things were triggered from this because there is a hidden character in here, and I have to trigger an event. And you trigger that event when I'm talking thing, to things. Shh, my hatchling is sleeping. Quiet. Uh, do, 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 do. Basically, I'm just heading back down now at this point. There's nothing else here to speak of, although I swear there's a piece of mithril here. But this is a place I can easily return to. Basically, I don't think there's anywhere in the game that's a true point of no return um there's definitely a spot in the game where you can't easily return um you've got a bit before you can actually fully return back to the section of the game but you can all right is it over here or on the other side 
Other side, okay. I never remember. This is actually something I didn't know when I first started playing. There we go. So, that hatchling that was being talking about. Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Whoops! Oh my! Screech! Gee, all caps. I wonder if this is a named character or not. See, I didn't actually know of Screech's existence the first time I played. Completely skipped. But that's okay. Screech landed on my head and thus survived. That one event is required to get a hitting character later on in the game. I think actually at Tristan now that I think about it. Um, so yep. My job here is done. Now let's head back. I am already at 20 minutes and I haven't had a single battle. And this battle is hard, to put it mildly. Beto soldiers are cowards! Be quiet! Thunk! Oh, hey, look! Luke's comrades all got one-shotted! My comrades! You are a captive. Don't force me to kill you. No more funny business! You can't resist us! Now give me that injured boy! Don't listen to him! Of course, this is supposed to be a proto werewolf, but we'll see what Gerholt actually is. <laughs> hey, look, it's a random centaur! I'll help you fight against the devils and god guard Oddler. That's the name of the boy, by the way, Oddler. You! As everybody looks up. Oh, Bowie, Peter, hi, hello, Pip Pip. Luke, why are you here? I came here to get a rap for you. The people of Polka are being controlled by these devils. They deceived me! Prince Luke, I'm sorry. Polkins will not fight. Please let me join you. Gerhalt the mage. All right. I had made a joke online that I had no idea if Luke was going to just be a mage that had a bunch of awesome spells or not. Great. Don't forget me, Herc. Very appropriate for Luke. So, like I said, real Luke is a bird brain, so extremely low defense, high attack character but all right so let's take a look at our new mage friend blaze egress and blast oh that is a terrible combination of spells for a mage oh <coughs> so um the way i have the randomizer working is that every Casty class always has one spell that is the same throughout all of them. So every mage has blaze. Um, every priest has heal. The reason for that is that in the regal in the regular game, that's the way it is. Um, Kazin is normally the mage. Kazin has blaze. Um, the second mage of the game, which is much later, and I'll point them out later on, also has blaze. And those are the only spells that they have in common. Uh, healers, same thing. Um, Sarah's a priest. Uh, she has heal, detox, is it heal, detox, blast, and I don't remember the fourth spell off the top of my head. Oh, no? Yeah, I don't remember off the top of my head now. But um, every other, I and mean, the other priest in the game has heal as well, but other spells. So there seems to be one spell in common with everybody. Sorks normally in the game actually have the same four spells every time, but whatever. So every other spell in the game is randomized. So Blast is usually a priest spell and is strictly weaker than Blaze. Egress is a spell that Bowie is the only one that normally gets. So I'm probably going to end up promoting Gerhalt to be a sorcerer. Yeah, compared to Jaha, Jaha is definitely going to stay uh, going to go the wizard path. So when you promote to sorcerer, you get a different set of spells. Even in basic Shining Force 2, you get Dao, which is a summon spell. Um, in this, you'll also get Dao, but you'll also get three other random spells. It's effectively a reroll on spells, and Dao is a better spell than Blaze, 
and so far that's Gerhalt's only spell that's any good. I mean, Egress is good, don't get me wrong. I'm not concerned about Egress. It's the fact that I have Blast, which is pretty much worthless. Um, yeah. Do you have the right equipment? Yeah, but I think I'm actually going to Egress immediately. And the reason for this is that I want to buy some healing items for Gerhalt. And also I need to use the bathroom, and I don't want to make a cut in a bad spot. Alright, Gerhalt. Uh, this also lets me compare stats. Gerhalt actually has a fairly high amount of hit points for being a mage. Um... He doesn't have as high of defense as Jaha, but Jaha is also three levels higher, that makes sense. Um, I think Gerhalt's primary stats might actually be HP. And it's not MP, that's for sure. MP is definitely Jaha's primary stat. Um, I think it might actually be... <sighs> Maybe agility for the second stat? Anyway... Let's go ahead and buy another healing seed. Alright. Alright, and I will be right back. Um, I guess I'm going to end up having to merge a couple of recordings for this after all. Be back. Alright, I'm back and with an ice cream sandwich. So, um... Hmm. My arrow didn't. Okay, yeah. I accidentally didn't have the emulator highlighted initially. <laughs> yeah, I went the wrong way. Told you, I'm a bit tired. Which probably means this is a terrible idea. Hello. so it doesn't make that big of a difference. So, uh, what do I have to do with up here? Ah, poop. First time hitting zombies. So, first off, zombies have extremely high attack. Second off, they poison you randomly, which I have no detox spell in the party. So that's going to hurt. Third off, um... Yeah, the hobgoblin's the easy thing at this point. I mean, it's almost strictly worse than the zombie. I've got death archers, they're normal enemies now. This is my objective, the Master Mage. The Master Mage has Blaze 2, which we've encountered before. The Master Mage is not that threatening in my mind. Its attack isn't that great. It can cast Blaze 2 more than once, which is... You know, something to be worried about, but it's not that bad. I'm actually more concerned about the Black Monk. And uh, much more worried about the zombies. Ugh. This is not good. Alright. What happens if I just let people come to me? How far have I already triggered things? That's basically what I'm boiling down to. <laughs> oh right, I actually control Peter now, don't I? Damn it. <coughs> Alright, this is going to be more annoying. Okay, I want to make sure I'm in spots with good terrain effect. Because this is gonna hurt a lot. 
So, how far away is... Okay, multiple turns. So, one advantage to this is that I can just start lining archers up at the top. That's what I'm going to try to do for a bit. It's the idea that I'm hopefully waking them up. Hmm, actually, that would have been a great spot for an archer, wouldn't it? Oh, well. There. Put the mage there. Put the May looking mage there. I guess. I really don't have a good spot for you right now. I was not expecting to get a second mage. Huh. I was joking about getting a second mage, but not expecting it. Yeah, another archer. You're not going to be in range, but I'm going to at least move you there. Peter, you're going to stay behind for a bit, so I'm going to need to power level Peter, and I may end up doing that off camera. There's a lot of good power leveling spots after this battle. Before this battle, it's pretty much abysmal. Um, who's boosted? I've already forgotten. I'm really tired. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this right now. Maybe I should actually stop this at the moment and... this back up next time. I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and quit, and I will pick this back up next time. Um, let me create a save state. I'm sorry, this one doesn't have a full battle in it. This is save 9, and this, if I remember correctly, actually generates a battle save. Yeah. Alright. So, I will see you next time, probably tomorrow. Sorry, um, actually it's not that bad because I wanted to do an analysis after the 10th one of these videos, and after the polka battle is actually a great time to do it, so that will be when the analysis is. I've talked enough, this is already a eh, half an hour movie, movie video roughly, so good night internet, I will see you some other day.